think it's metal all over. Oh yeah. What are you doing? I'm just out here doing some evening scrapping, seeing what's on the curb. So far, I have a metal dishwasher. If there was a garbage can right here, I'd probably put this insulation into it. Yeah, there's no really easy way of doing this. Because it scrapes on the bottom. I hear a train off in the distance. I'm cool with that. I like trains. Growing up in Las Vegas, I did not see any trains. So it's kind of like a, a childhood novelty as an adult. It's just cool. Oh, you can see the whole train. Off in the distance, I can see the front of the train. And right here is the caboose or the, whatever they call that, power distribution engine. And off in the distance, way, way off there, you see the clouds kind of going up to an angle? That's the Byron nuclear plant. Super stealthy scrap. Whoa, hey. Oh, you're not going to be easy, are you? That's been in there a long time. I think it's probably steel. No? I can't tell. Yeah, it's aluminum. You can hardly tell it was raining like crazy this morning until you see puddles like this. <laughs> aluminum? Yeah, this is quite soggy. <clears throat> Aluminum's going up front. Yeah, this is extra soggy. Huh. This was repaired at one point. See the solder, or the solder. See the welding? isn't too stable. <laughs> I could fold it up, huh? Tangling this up. Wait a minute. Sometimes I'm not very graceful. I think it's metal. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Is it a ski? Man, those clouds cleared out fast hmm this is two tables sorry I don't do glass and that is that still attached whoa looks like a Star Wars What were those called? Uh, can't think of it. Hmm. They're both tilted up. That's still attached, isn't it? It is. Probably wouldn't take much for me to break it. Hmm. 
by risking breaking this. I don't want to break the glass. Oh, cool. Hmm. All right. Gingerly lay it down. This one is it's too attached. So I'm going to gingerly lay this one next to it. Okay, good. The garbage man will take the glass. Yeah, my packing's not too good today. Behave. Hey. All right, so that wraps up the evening scrap route. But before, before we pick this operation up in the morning, um, I went on a bike ride yesterday when it was super warm out. So uh, here is us riding around downtown DeKalb. With it being unseasonably warm, I gotta go for a bike ride. Let's see what's happening out in DeKalb. I'm not the only one with the bike idea. I'm just cheating with electricity. I guess it wouldn't hurt me to pedal a little bit. I like this alley a lot. Let's check out some dumpsters. Any scrappage? Sounds creepy. <laughs> Door's like here. What's up, creepy sounding door? Yeah, I do enjoy riding the bike around. It's got to really be paying attention to cars backing up and people walking. This has good brakes, but sometimes it might not be that good. Hey, it's the Cab Wizard. This guy's awesome. divot in the pavement. What do they call those? Another cool alley. So these are old buildings. This is a brand new building. Why say brand new? Two years old? Maybe three? In my older videos, you see me uh, working with these guys with uh, scrap metal. What's up, waste management? Barb City Bagel, so delicious. But they close at like two in the yeah two in the afternoon they close. Their breakfast and lunch only. I've never been in this place. It's a restaurant and a brewery. Company. So that building with the bright paintings of the monarch butterfly and the corn and whatever that's City Hall and they wanted to annex this building from my across the street neighbor and he's like uh you can buy it if you want you can't just have it so uh anyway I guess they're still in negotiations this building is super old 
It was the original barbed wire manufacturing company. Or I'm not sure what the name of it, but barbed wire was made in this area, which I'm not overly excited about the thought of barbed wire, but this is the barbed city because it's where it was made. Talk about hostile architecture. Yeah, actually this is my buddy's truck. Super old building. Let's take another view of it from over here. Yep. This was the original, even though that's been redone and yeah, this building is, I don't know, 1860? Something like that. I probably can get a tour from it from my from my neighbor. That'd be cool. He said it's a super interesting building. But I guess there's a there's a whole basement and like even like below that there's some stuff. But yeah, sadly, the uh, the city wants to bulldoze it over to make parking for City Hall. I don't know. I like old buildings. I think they have a value unto them just by being old. That not everything needs to be modernized. And yeah, so that's City Hall. That was a a building that was renovated. It's water, water bills, parking tickets can be paid right here. Yeah, so this is a super old building, the city hall. I don't. This wasn't a city hall to begin with. Yeah, it says First National Bank on it. I don't know what year. Very old colonial architecture. Lord Stanley's. I've been in there once and had some pizza. Super good. There's other places I've never been in. I've never been in any, any of these. The Egyptian theater. Yeah, I played there one time with my church band. We played like 20 songs. It was a full-blown Christmas concert. Super awesome. They, they've redone it since then. I've not been in there. Hello. Anything in the dumpsters? I think those are stairs that way. Here's Donna. Donna the peaceful tank. She just chilled these days. Yeah, I've chilled out with old age too, Donna. Not a bad thing. Not at all. Hey, the clock works kind of cool. So that's Annie Glidden. She was a philanthropist here in the 1860s. She was, uh, she had a lot of causes, very, um, I don't know a lot about her, but, uh, yeah. Citizens of DeKalb. Oh, 
all of humanity in the World War 1914 to 1918. So this is a World War I. Yep. It's a World War I uh, memorial. Wow. That's all metal. Don't be scrapping memorials, Paul. Oh, I won't. And they won't have the memory. Oh, uh, it doesn't. I was hoping it would. Good morning. It's the next day. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. Hope you enjoyed the bike ride. I certainly did. It was so nice outside. Oh, can I do some drive-by scrapping? Hey, good morning. Thanks for leaving your scrap out. Yeah, I was, I was driving and I saw a, a garbage can. I was taking my garbage out of the truck and this guy approached me. He said, hey, do you ever find books when you're out there? I'm like, I do. He's like, what do you do with them? <laughs> and we wound up talking, and this was over by NIU, the, it was over by NIU, the, uh, the university. And so I was talking with him a super nice guy you can tell he's like he's an intellectual you know for oops yeah like, like a super intellectual like he's been a professor or something in his in his career but he you know he was retired and stuff and i was talking with him and so i was asking him, i said hey the library at the university is that open to the public and he just like open he he saw his grin and he's like, yes, it is. It's open to the public. He says, there's a new director there that's making a bunch of changes. It's super awesome. I'm like, cool. Wait a minute, I recognize this trash from yesterday. This is the hole <laughs> that that, um, that downspout was in. Yeah. Sorry, I digress. But yeah, so the library, at the university, which is nice, you can tell from the outside of the building that it's, uh, uh, so I'm excited about going there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need to actually go up there. This will pose a problem if I leave it there. Hey. Behave. Yeah, it was cool. I like cool people. My only issue is that for my dark days of addiction, that friends, I use quotation, air quotes, um, they, they had all ulterior motives and I, I did too as oh, I need my clippers I was not a good friend and so I'm even though it's it's been what 16 17 years since that that era almost 17 that um, I'm still you know still reeling from it sweetness so yeah I don't I just keep people at a distance, mostly, and that's not good. I don't know if that happens in your world. But yeah, to make a long conversation short, John was telling me to take books to the library at NIU, uh, or the public library, and just put it into the book return slot. And they will do, I think, once or twice annually, a book sale, and that donated books can be sold for the uh, income or funds for the library. Not sure if it's scrap. It's definitely a lamp. That's all metal. That's kind of cool. All right. 
Oh. I don't know if it works. I like lamps. <laughs> this pond was full of, um, I don't know, it was cattail kind of plants or grasses. So they dredged it all out. Wow, interesting. Oh, I got work to do. Quit lollygagging. Nice. Hmm. Alright, so that's what. Oh, well, they zip tied that into one piece. Thanks. Seriously. <sighs> Rufus. <clears throat> the time change is gonna happen this weekend, this upcoming weekend. So right now it's 7 a.m. So it'll like be instantly 8 a.m. <gasps> well, hello, red-winged blackbird. Good morning. Ford Ranger. I always like those. Get some aluminum. Man, this ladder's gotten beat up. Hmm. I don't have a container, man. Hmm. All right, aluminum. I'm gonna go right here. Or I can just snap it into place. Really? I just snapped myself back home. <laughs> What's up, Dalton? It's a scrap hallucination. Oh, I thought that was steel. I can, I can scrap that and this. Ooh, maybe not. Ooh. But maybe. Cool bag. Cool. Yeah. This is pushing my limit of 70% metal or not. Exact same kind of trash. But there's some. Oh, that's fiberglass. That's steel. This is not. little bit counts this is the paper man <laughs> the paper boy oftentimes when I'm driving through the neighborhoods <laughs> wow they're going from both directions is that two people or is one guy just tossing them <gasps> that might be one guy tossing them because they're happening at the exact same time let me see I can't really tell but yeah when I was a kid, the paper boy had a 20 inch bicycle that had these huge bags in the front that he would stuff in, I don't know, 50 newspapers. He'd ride his bicycle that was all top heavy and front heavy. And he'd go and he'd toss the newspapers. Yep. And then he would go around once a month collecting for the newspapers. So he was the salesman and the delivery boy. The garbage man's been through here already because the glass from last night is gone from those tables. What's up, my gooses? I can hear that pump going. It's distracting me from my tranquility. Oh, 
you all are awesome. No, no, no. I don't want to get a copyright strike. I'm just wondering, how do the Romans do math? I mean, they use the alphabet <laughs> for numbers. Um, yeah, let's go in here. Man, the clouds and the sun are fighting <laughs> for a sunny day. It's gonna supposedly it's gonna be sunnier later on. Hey, it looks pretty clear. <laughs> They got the gate up. I've not seen them use that gate in a while. Yeah, I gotta hurry up. I have a VA appointment. I have an appointment for the VA Move program. Yep, yep, yep. Open says me. Not even 7,000 pounds. That's my guess. Not even. I see. Uh, six seven six zero. I'll bet the truck weighs. Um, uh, probably. What's up, Bill? How you feeling, man? Another day in paradise. It, it is. <laughs> I'm not sure where the forklift is going. But I think I'm going to park and get the uh, crane operator's um, attention and just ask where he wants it. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, clean sweep. I like that. and use the fencing. I bet he's gonna want me right there in the puddle. You might not even know I'm here. Cause I don't really have my yellow or my orange. I'm gonna untie this too right here. All right, it's untied. I got this undone. <laughs> this worker guy, he sneezed so loud, it made me jump. <laughs> I probably should have honked louder or longer. Whoa. Yeah, let's not crash, Paul. There's another piece of a trailer. Look <laughs> how close I am to that. Yeah, that's a little unnerving, isn't it? I need to take the elevator. Yeah, scrap pile's not very big. I need to do more scrapping. I think I'm gonna scrap this afternoon too. It is supposedly gonna be nice. What's catching over here? Hey. Whoa. I didn't realize I was locking him in. Yeah, it's catching on that, so. in the water.
yeah, I want to say thanks for the, the PayPal tip jar tip I got yesterday. I don't, I don't show enough appreciation for those things. I appreciate it because I didn't get one for probably close to a month. So, uh, but also I understand because I've only been doing about one video a week. So, I mean, I don't think I'd tip somebody if I wasn't getting a, it's like cool barrels. But yeah, you get it. Also, I got a couple handwritten notes sent to my P.O. box. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is not aluminum. It's magnetic. Here. Where's my, where's my magnet? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, that's kind of cool. Keep that aluminum. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. All right. Pay attention, Paul. It's not all fun and games. somewhere Whoa, that's a nice trailer Is that a, that's a dump trailer isn't it all right I'm gonna spin all the way around no I'm not I was gonna go all the way around but seeing how the the gates up see I'm gonna guess 300 pounds I'm hoping but yeah I, I don't want to say thank you for the PayPal tip jar tip that I appreciate and here's why it's immediate if somebody gives me a PayPal tip jar tip um, I can immediately go get a cup of coffee or get some gas speaking of I'm a little bit low or you know whatever it's like it's immediate um, thank you for the handwritten notes that is my favorite I don't know. it just is All right, let's go get paid. Hi, good morning, Katie. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Cool, thank you. Very I'll see you later. Have a good day. All right, you too, bye. Thank you, God. Hmm. Thank you for being personal. Thank you for caring about me, caring about us. God, I need your help in the world. I'm going to ask for that right now, God. Help us in this world. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hmm. What's going on? What? 36 bucks? I'm cool with that. And 380 pounds. 
Yep, 380 pounds, $190 a net ton. So it's a little bit less, so nine and a half cents a pound, nine and three quarters. No, nine and a half cents a pound, yep. So $36.10. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you.